Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching and for subscribing. And if you're just visiting, please consider subscribing. Today, we're going to talk about classy, elegant, and sophisticated fragrances. Fragrances that I think every woman needs in her collection. I think these are fragrances that would be great signature scents, fragrances that will be appropriate for any occasion. And when I started thinking about what fragrances I wanted to include in this video, I realized that I kept gravitating towards um, a specific list of notes, notes that are prominent in these fragrances. And that's how, kind of how I uh, divided this video. I have a few, I think five probably different notes and a few fragrances um, representing each note that I would consider um, elegant and sophisticated and classy. And I believe that I saw a video that Giselle, GB Fragrances, did on um, elegant and classy fragrance notes. I will definitely uh, link it in the description below. So we all know that I love vanilla and there are so many different vanilla scents, but I think there are, there are some that can definitely be called very classy and very elegant. And so I've chosen two here. The first one is the one that has been my favorite for a very, very long time. And the one that I mentioned many, many times on my channel, but I had to bring it up again because I think it's one of the most elegant vanilla scents and this is Cinema from YSL. So in addition to vanilla, we have clementines, we have almond blossom, um, amber, benzoin, and to me, it smells like warm, sweet clementine tea, maybe slightly floral tea. It is such um, an understated beauty. It is so classy. I can sort of see, you know, it's called cinema and I can sort of see somebody walking on a red carpet in a beautiful gown and wearing this fragrance. That's sort of what it makes me think of. It is such an elegant scent and I would definitely uh, recommend it to anyone that's looking for sort of a understated type of vanilla. So again, this is cinema. From YSL. Vanilla that I've chosen is from Guerlain and this is Angelique Noir. This one is a little bit different because this one is a green vanilla. There's of course vanilla, Angelica in here. There's also cedar and pear and again this is very smooth, very creamy and very understated type of vanilla. It is definitely not overly sweet. It is a touch uh, woody and I think pear brings a really nice slight uh, fruity touch to this but overall very smooth, very creamy, very green but um, you know, green in a really nice way. When I say green, I mean really fresh, non-bakery type of vanilla. So if you're not a fan of green notes, I would say don't be afraid of this one. It's not um, overly green. Uh, so Angelique Noir is absolutely beautiful and I think a very, very classy scent. Next, I have two iris fragrances. And again, I think iris is very kind of regal, very sophisticated, very classy, elegant type of floral note. And uh, one fragrance that I've chosen here is Iris de Syracuse from Boucheron. This is uh, a newer fragrance in my collection. And when I first got it, um, I wasn't completely sure about it because I don't like every iris. Um, it has to be sort of the right type of iris. And I wasn't sure about this one, but you know, the more I wear it, the more I really, really love it. So the notes in here are pepper, orange, pear, heliotrope, jasmine, musk, vanilla, patchouli, iris, obviously. And when I first spray it on in the opening, the iris is 
not very sweet and not very powdery. I would say it's more of kind of um, green and fresh type of iris. And then as it starts developing, it really becomes sweeter and more powdery, but it never crosses that line of being too powdery or being too sweet, which is what I don't like in an iris. This one is not like that. It sort of uh, gets close to that border, but it never crosses it. And uh, it has a certain element of smoothness and creaminess to it. Um, and maybe even a little bit of earthiness, which I think probably balances out the sweetness and powderiness and doesn't let it cross that line. Overall, very, very elegant scent. So if you're looking for an iris type of scent, I would definitely recommend this one. And another iris scent that I have is Meteorites from Guerlain. And I would say this one is also very elegant, but more in kind of a playful, young type of way. Uh, so I would say maybe I would recommend Meteorites to a younger girl and um, Iris de Syracuse to someone who is a little bit older. Although, of course, as I always say, wear whatever you like. There are no rules to fragrances. I believe that. So in this one, in addition to iris, we have apple, green notes, bergamot, there's musk, oris, sandalwood, and I definitely get a very strong note of apple. It brings really nice um, crispness and a little bit of sourness to the scent. And I really enjoy when uh, there is sourness in scents that just appeals to me. And that's what we have here. And I think uh, green notes bring even more um, sort of, a, I would say, freshness together with bergamot. So you have an iris that's a very, very fresh and very crisp and kind of bubbly and happy and even you know looking at the bottle i i love the everything about it i think it, it corresponds to the scent perfectly so uh, i would definitely choose this one for someone who wants a really iris a fruity iris let's say because apple definitely adds that this to this fragrance a really bubbly happy type of iris there are two more floral notes that i would consider um very sophisticated and elegant and of course that's rose and peony and very often uh although not always but very often these two notes are combined together so i've chosen here uh one uh fragrance that features peony and one fragrance that features rose uh, for the peony i've chosen pivoni print hams from maison lancome this fragrance has pink pepper, peony, and rose. So as I said, you know, peony and rose are together here, although I would call this scent about peony, just like the name suggests. Rose really plays uh, a supporting role here. Peony is much more prominent to my nose, and it has a really nice uh, punch of pink pepper in the opening. It definitely has a little bit of uh, spice and then it settles into a beautiful musky peony. I would say the scent is very, very elegant, very understated, uh, would be great as a signature scent, great as an office scent, overall extremely elegant. So that's again Pivoni Print Temps from Maison Lancome. Now let's talk about rose. And you know that I absolutely love the note of rose and I have so many rose scents in my collection. But when I tried this one, and I don't have a full bottle of this one, I just have a mini. When I tried this one, I just completely fell in love with this. And from all the rose scents that I have and I have tried, to me, there is something about this one that I find so elegant, so sophisticated, so regal. It's just, I feel like it's a fragrance fitted for a queen. Don't ask me why, I don't know, but 
these are the associations that I'm getting with this fragrance. And like I said, I have a mini, but as soon as I have a chance, I will definitely get a full bottle because I completely fell in love with this fragrance. So finally, what am I talking about? This is Gris Dior from Maison Dior. When you look at the notes and really when you smell it, there's nothing um, out of the ordinary about this rose. I mean, we have, you know, pretty common notes in this fragrance. There is rose, there is patchouli, oak moss, bergamot, cedar, sandalwood, amber. I mean, again, nothing out of the ordinary. And uh, in a way, the scent is, is pretty simple i mean mostly it's rose and patchouli combination it has a, a touch of woody elements in here um there is maybe a touch of freshness but overall it's um you know musky rose with patchouli that's what it is but they must have added some, ma some magic to the sand because it, there's something special about it there's something so elegant about it so classy i think if you ask me out of everything that i'm showing you today to choose one scent one scent that i would think is the classiest the most elegant the most sophisticated i would honestly go with this one and i'm not sure why but that's just these are the associations that i am getting with this scent so Gris Dior is an absolute stunner. Now, I also think that um, fruity kind of citrusy scents can be elegant as well. Maybe these are not the types of scents that you think about right away when you're thinking about these classy scents, but I think there are some that could be considered elegant and classy. And so I've chosen two here. The first one is Yellow Diamond from Versace. This one has pear, citruses, mimosa, white florals, and musk. And it is really a beautiful combination of um, fruity, citrusy notes. And I think it's the note of mimosa, which I also think is a very elegant flower that really kind of balances out uh, the fruitiness uh, and the citrusy uh, nuances of this fragrance and doesn't let them get um, too sharp or too punchy. Overall, I think it's one of the best designer scents that I have tried that are kind of in this fruity citrusy uh, category. I absolutely love this one and I think it is very, very elegant. The next one that I've chosen is definitely louder, punchier type of fruity scent, but I still think it has an element of elegance and sophistication to it. And I'm talking about Cassiopeia from Tiziana Terenzi. Uh, as you can imagine, most Tiziana Terenzi fragrances are very loud in your face, but I would say from everything that I've tried from this house, this is probably the gentlest and the airiest type of scent that I have tried. It is mostly centered about uh, passion fruit. In addition to that, we have cassis, tonka, sandalwood, musk, and some floral notes. And passion fruit is definitely strong in here, but uh, cassis, I think, brings some uh, greenness and a little bit of earthiness i would say to this fragrance it, it is definitely very creamy because we have tonka sandalwood and it is a bit musky i'm not really getting a lot of floral notes in here the, to me this is definitely about the passion fruit this is the star of this fragrance but it has very airy and very light quality about it the mask in here is beautiful it's not your typical tatsana terenzi mask that can be really in your face and really strong the type of mask that you know some don't really like uh, including me i do not enjoy really strong mask but it is not like that here very beautiful elegant um maybe slightly playful type of scent and the last category that I have here is just floral scents. Scents where uh, there is no one particular floral note that stands out, but rather we have this bouquet of floral notes. And 
uh, you know, if you watched my videos, you know that this is definitely not my favorite category of scents. These, this category is definitely challenging for me, but I find myself uh, being gravitated towards uh, this category more and more lately. I want to explore new scents that are more on the floral side. And so I'm gonna share one with you that I've had in my collection for a very long time and one that is brand new that I actually haven't shown yet at all. It will be coming up in upcoming haul, but I also wanted to include it in this video because I think it fits the topic perfectly. But let's start with the scent that I've had in my collection for a long time. This is Gabrielle from Chanel. This is such a nice floral scent. I think this is the floral scent that is perfect for those that are like me, that struggle with very strong floral fragrances, because this one is very elegant, very understated. And in general, you know, when I think about Chanel, right away, elegance and class come to mind. So of course, I had to have at least one Chanel fragrance on this list. And I've chosen Gabrielle because... I really, really love this scent. So in addition to florals, we have citruses, there's pear, blackcurrant, musk, sandalwood. So you can see that there are some fruity notes in here, uh, which tone down the florals, I think. And I think that's why I really enjoyed this scent and why I think it will appeal to many that um, are not getting along with, with, let's say, very strong and very heady florals. Um, although there are fruits here and although they, they help tone down the florals, I don't really get a lot of fruity notes in here. I, this is definitely a floral combination for me with some citruses added in. It definitely has the zing and freshness of some citruses. It is a little bit musky. It is maybe a touch sweet, but it's really not very sweet. It is just citrusy, floral, very elegant, very classy, very sophisticated. So I absolutely had to include uh, Gabrielle from Chanel. And now I'm going to show you a scent that is very, very new to my collection. Like I said, I haven't even shared it in a haul yet. It will be coming up. And this one is really interesting. So let me show you what it is first. This is from the House of Mammal. And the scent is called Granada. Now, this was a blind buy, and I knew going in that this would be a risky blind buy because this is very much a floral scent. So let me tell you about the notes. There is um, orange flower, bergamot, pomegranate, jasmine, heliotrope, vanilla, tonka, musk, woody notes. And I knew that there was a big chance that I will not like it, but uh, like I said, I'm really trying to venture more into the into floral types of scents. So, is this a love at first sniff? No. Do I hate it? No. I'm probably somewhere in the middle. I'm kind of very fascinated by this scent, and I'm really trying to wear it more and trying to see if it will become a love. I don't know yet, but I can tell you that I like it more than I did originally and I like it more than I thought I would. So what is the scent about? Like I said, this is definitely, definitely a floral combination and these are serious florals. They're very heavy. What I'm getting more than anything else is jasmine and uh, orange blossom. These are the most prominent notes to me. There is a little bit of sweetness in here. And for me, the scent is actually sweeter in the opening than it is in a dry down. I actually really, really love the opening. The opening is beautiful because I'm getting um, sweetness and I'm getting a lot of orange blossom. As the scent dries down, I'm getting more of a jasmine uh, than orange blossom and the sweetness kind of disappears. So this is a scent that I'm still working on, but regardless of me loving it or not, I think this is a stunning scent. And I think for those that enjoy some serious florals, especially white florals, this is a really 
classy and sophisticated fragrance. Like I, I don't know for sure, but I can sort of picture this scent being real compliment getter. I think many, many would enjoy this scent. So again, that's why I'm including it. Uh, the verdict is still out. If this is the right scent for me or not, I will let you know. Maybe uh, by the time I post my haul, I will have uh, a better grasp on this scent. But like I said, this is definitely very classy and very sophisticated. This is Granada from Memo Paris. So this is my list of sophisticated, elegant, and classy fragrances. I would love to know if you have these types of fragrances in your collection and what they are. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!